Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this short episode, I'll, I'll want to demonstrate a new feature that Microsoft just came out with. It's Rich Text Editor in a Grid View or Quick Edit. So, uh, in order to do that, we will create a new list. I'll go to the site New and choose List. Choose a blank list. Let's call it a Demo. By the way, it, it can work in Microsoft Lists as well. Now I'm on a SharePoint. Now I, I will add a column which is multi-line and text. I'll give it a name, a description one. And in the more options, I will choose use enriched uh, rich text. I'll press save. And actually, if I go, now I can create um, enter the data uh, in this for this column if I'm opening the form this way I can press the pencil and type and use all of the possibilities of this rich text this wasn't here now so it's not new uh, we also know how to use it from uh, office uh, applications uh, the new thing is actually if I go to edit and grid mode and type now I will be able to use the rich text within the edit mode. Currently I don't see it. I'll try to expand it. Now for some reason sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So um, maybe it's... You see here? Ah, when I go here, now I see this menu. Uh, I can mark it is bold for instance I can make it italic underline uh, let's type more uh, let's see what we can do here if I press the three dots I can add a hyperlink I can choose the font color so you see it's green what I can do in addition I can um, increase indent so it goes step forward I can bring it back I can clear the format and uh, all of the things that I can ev even add a image uh, currently it's just to a link I think it's not that good uh, but if we upload an image in advance then we can put the link and it will uh, insert it so uh, actually the new behavior is uh, instead of the new form but in edit grid or quick view you can actually uh, use the rich text experience as you noticed uh, I made it wider because it's really not comfortable to, to work that way but as you see here you can drag it and uh, there's also a possibility to decide if it's going to be fixed height or auto fit so if I press fixed height then it's supposed to save it so this is the the short training thank you try it and let me know what you think goodbye